Sharpening a chisel or a plane iron are in principle the same activity. First you need to grind the tool to the correct angle and then it must be honed to a keen edge. You will need the following tools. Sharpening stones. I will be using a medium and fine stone but this is not essential. A rag for cleaning up. The appropriate PPE such as goggles or a face mask. The tool that requires sharpening, in this case a chisel, a square to check that the edge is square to the rest of the tool, some cutting paste for stropping the tool, this is not essential, a strop, once again not essential, a grinder that is in serviceable condition and that you have been trained to use, and finally lubrication for your sharpening stone, generally oil or water. I will be using water as I am using diamond stones for honing. Most chisels and plain irons have two angles that form the cutting edge. The larger of the two is known as the grinding angle and this should be between 25 and 30 degrees. The smaller angle is known as the honing angle which is between 30 and 35 degrees. It is this angle that produces the final cutting edge. First isolate the machine then slacken the tool rest angle screw and adjust the tool rest to the correct angle, 25 degrees. On this machine there is a preset position. Then slacken the horizontal adjusting screw and set the tool rest so it is no more than 1.5 mm from the grinding wheel. Gently rotate the grinding wheel by hand to check that it is not touching the tool rest. Check that all screws are tight and then turn the machine back on at the isolator. First put on your PPE and set the grinding guard. The honing angle on this chisel has extended too far up the grinding angle and it is slightly rounded. To correct this it needs to be ground until the angle is correct across the whole of the tool and that the cutting edge is square. Start the grinder and place the tool on the tool rest and bring it gently into contact with the grinding wheel. Move the chisel from side to side trying to use the whole width of the grinding wheel. Check from time to time on progress and continue until the correct angle is achieved over the whole chisel edge. Do not apply too much pressure or hold the tool against the wheel for too long as this might cause the tool to overheat and burn. If the tool does overheat its temper will be lost and it will no longer be able to hold an edge. You might like to keep a container of water at hand to dip the tool into from time to time. Use the square to check that the edge is square to the rest of the blade. If it is not square, grind a little more from the side of the edge that is furthest away from the square. Continue until the angle is consistent across the whole of the tool and until the edge is square. Starting on the medium stone, add a little water to the stone, then place the grinding angle flat on the stone, then rise the handle slightly. This should give a honing angle of between 30 and 35 degrees. Move the chisel up and down the stone until a slight burr forms on the back of the chisel. Remember to use the whole of the stone as this helps to keep wear consistent. Once a burr has formed, turn the chisel over so the back of the chisel is flat on the stone. Rub gently to remove the burr. It is imperative that the chisel is kept flat on the stone. Moving on to a finer stone and repeating the process will help produce a finer edge. Next, put a little lapping paste on the strop. 
Place the back of the chisel on the strop and pour backwards several times. Repeat on the honing angle. This should remove any small burrs and produce a fine edge. Now test the edge by cutting down on some end grain timber. This should cut easily and give a clean finish. For the purposes of this demonstration I will cut some paper. <music> 